Kwa majina mimi naitwa Mheshimiwa William Mutai the new majority leader Na kwanza niko hapa hivi ni shukuru members wa UDA ambaye walinichagua niwe majority leader basi na wakaribisheni ili mpate maoni kutoka kwao na tuendelee tuambie ni nini ambayo imejiri mpaka siku ya leo. Asanteni kabla, sana. Kabla, kabla tuende hapo nimeweza kuona ile court order na ambayo inasemekana imesomwa katika bunge na katika serikali ya UDA imekuwa ikipokewa vikali kwa kuvunja sheria. Hivi juzi tukiona eh, acting IG akipuuza sheria uamuzi wa court labda wewe kama ambaye umeweza kuondolewa ndio si kuondolewa lakini ile kure instate ule ni kama kumaanisha ameondolewa hivi watu lapena waje niseme tumejipanga vizuri na tumejipanga vizuri na kuna mtu ambaye atajibu maswali hayo mimi baadaye nitatoa maoni yangu so gadhani wakuja gadhani wakuja atajibu hilo swali fadhili my name is fadhili msuri mca biashara ward and the majority whip wa uda party nakuru county assembly vile mnakumbuka last week mlikuwa hapa na sisi members wa UDA. Nataka ifahamike vizuri kuna chama inaitwa UDA, kuna chama inaitwa Jubilee, kuna chama inaitwa Safina na kuna wengine hawana chama wako independent. Na kuna ODA ambao ni ni mmoja ama wawili elected. Sisi kama wana UDA kwa ina Kuru County Assembly. Tuko na maneno na the former majority leader. Na tukatoa our reasons why we felt he was not doing his mandate na tukafuata the procedure na tukafanya kila kitu na tukamtoa we are 55 elected MCAs wa UDA in this assembly elected and nominated sorry 33 of them hawataki hiyo mtu sasa majority hawakutaki wewe unangangania nyumba dai kutaki ya kazi gani ni kweli si ukubali uende why do you want to bring confusion to the assembly na members they don't want you it is our right kama members of UDA to clean our house hata leo members wa kifil mimi kama chief whip i am not performing my duty they have a right to remove me as long as they follow the procedure which we did uh, uh, in removing the former mosop mca sasa today was very unfortunate we were in the assembly the speaker read a communication kwamba he has been served na kile tunashangaa He has been served as who? Because this is a UDA affair. And the most intriguing part of it, myself as the whip, I'm in Metajo Kwamba, it is saying the former ML versus Fadhili Msuri and the new ML and the other 31 members, we were served that order at 10.44 today in the morning after the plenary. So the speaker was in receipt of the document. He sat on it. We had a meeting with him in the morning. I may clear your order. He lied to our face that all is well. Kumbe he knew what he was doing. This has confirmed to us that the speaker of Nakuru County Assembly has gone rogue. Yes. And what the people out there have always been suspecting it is true. The speaker is not himself. Yes. He is being manipulated. I don't know by what forces or by who, but it seems there are other sectors where the speaker is receiving his instructions. Yes. And that he has actually ashamed this assembly and we feel very shameful to call him our speaker lakini sisi kama UDA this is our position as MCAs wa hapa our majority leader in bold in black and white in capital letters is none other than Mheshimiwa William Mutai MCA for Keringet he will not abandon that seat atakalekiti yake majority leader 
that have performed the functions of that office until otherwise. And here, but I want to finish by this. We call upon our party, our Secretary General, Moshimo Hassan Omar, and the UDA party uh, leadership, Waingilia Himaneno, to make sure that uh, the party systems are respected and that justice is seen and served. Kwa sababu tukikubali hii manipulation ya justice ifanyike, then UDA party will lose its meaning and its value. Na sisi kama watu wa UDA, tungependa chama yetu patiwe ishima, so we call upon our party leadership to intervene on this matter and ensure the voices of the majority of UDA MCAs in Nakur is respected and uphold. Asante ni sana. Ganiyo. I'm not the former ML, the former majority, and Actually, actually, can we have someone? Ukonasimu, you should a book majority leader kona watu watatu na majority leader kona watu nyuma. Tela wachama yetu. Ebu chukua yao. Tela wachama yetu. Take the picture there and this other side. Ah, eh? Ibadoni party anini? Uchukua ile? Someone should pick that na ipa moja. Even the media. Even the media. Even the media. You should take that picture. Wachua mbele. The majority leader. Na ukuja apa. Video, video pa moja. Mambia sube video iko. Ah, my name is Michael Gadano. MCA Bro Baruk Ward. Leo, I want to focus on the legal side. I've heard you ask whether there is a court order or something. Uh, the, we have not received any court order. Uh, as an assembly, what we do, we are a house of rules and order. We have only received a communication from the Speaker of the House. And the communication was about uh, a court case that he referenced and he did not even read what it is. And you know that our house uh, does online streaming of our, of our proceedings. You can go there and you can see what the speaker communicated. The speaker communicated that. There is a case, he read the case number, that was against uh, Fadili, Musuri, eh? Fadili Musuri and others. Those other people, we do not know whether they belong to Nakuru County, those are the people we do not know whether they are Kenyans. And so when the communication was about a case between uh, Mr. Alex Langat and uh, Fadili Msuri and others. So that communication, we don't know where it came from. Uh, another thing, the reason we are here also, maybe the executive has, we have had issues of court orders not being obeyed in Nakuru. But we've never had such a case in the county assembly. What we are now witnessing today is an introduction of a backdoor of legal system where a party which has 55 members sat down and decided that three members are out of those with their signatures, phone numbers, ID numbers and the faces that you can see decided that we need a new majority leader. And uh, a mere 20 something, I think 17 members uh, are not even sure whether they are supporting the old one or they are just somewhere. Uh, some of them, I think, uh, they are not within. That's why uh, you can see the majority leader there. The former. the former majority leader, as you can evidently see, has three people behind him. I'm wondering how you can be a majority leader when the majority do not want you. That is, uh, an, uh, <laughs> that is ironical. So what we are saying here today is, like the whip said, he has just been served. He has just been served by a forward. You know, when you are served on the phone, it means you've been sent, but there is a physical uh, serving that is coming. So we are expecting the process servers any time. But we received the forward copy at 10, that is at 10:44. But uh, so the communication that you are telling us could not have come because the speaker was uh, was making a communication at around nine, 
but we have received a communication at 10.44. Unless you are telling me that the speaker is a time traveler. Thank you so much. Uh, if a court order came, a proper court order, we would, we would, we would uh, uh, obey it and respect it. In this case, uh, law, you know, is, a, is, is like, a, is like a, so it cuts both sides. So if a matter has been overtaken by events, you cannot do an injunction or a court order for a matter that has been overtaken by events. What you can do is go and seek redress by putting the matter in court, then uh, challenge it in court, and if you win, then you come resume a seat. So if, if there is a court order, we are going to serve it. What we are not going to serve is uh, backdoor uh, legal processes. Yes. Yes, yes, true. There are external forces that are forcing us to oust him. And those are the people and the citizens of Nakuru County who have been complaining of negligence, of negligence, and who have been complaining that we are being compromised. And the guy who has been compromised is the one that we are kicking out of office. Yes. So it is very true. We have external forces of the Wanjikos who are behind us. Yes. Another question? <laughs> yes.